Hi there, it's Edith from Love and Life, and I wanted to come to you today and show you my pantry challenge that I'm doing with uh, Lisa at Sutton Stays and Mandy at More to Life and Heather at Needy Homesteader. They um, have challenged us to a year of growing our pantry. This is for Project Pantry, and whatever we spend each week on groceries, or to supply for our pantry, we are going to make a little video. I am going to make a little video and share it for all of you to see. So by the end of the year, I will have a very nice build-up pantry that will sustain my family for a long time. So this is what I bought this week. Um, I've never tried camellia beans, and I've heard from... Uh, several different YouTube artists that these are the supreme bean that you need to get when you make red beans and rice. My husband loves red beans and rice and um, I thought I would order these beans and try them out and see if I like them and then if I do I'll get more. So I just bought a one pound package of six different types of beans but I love this for my pantry because I can cook up a pan of beans with some few, a few spices, maybe a little bit of onion and a jalapeno and some bell pepper, and then put some meat in it, a ham hock, and um, it, even just ham hock is enough. But I could add some ham or some Polish sausage or something to it and have a big pot of beans with rice that we could eat for three or four days. This would one package of these would feed my husband and I for three or four days at least. And so this is a really good thing to have in your pantry if you want something that will last for a long time. I've got great northern beans, which I love to have these with uh with ham. Beans and ham are delicious. Pino beans, I actually like them the same way I do the red kidney beans with uh, beans and rice. Uh, the pinto beans are a little softer from the beans that I've tried, the red kidney beans I've tried. And I actually like the flavor of those better, but we'll try these and see. Also these navy beans too. I guess there's great northern beans and navy beans. I don't really know for sure what the difference is between the two, but I'll try them and I'll let you know. If you know the difference, let me know. And then I got split peas. I love split pea soup. Yum. With some carrot and some celery and uh, onion and some ham. Everything has ham hock in it and, and some ham. It's delicious. And these are black eyed peas and I've never ever had black eyed peas. I look them up and they cook them the same with the ham hocks and uh, some spices. And I'm anxious to try them. So those are the th those are the grocery items that I got. I ordered these on Amazon. They were $30. I don't remember exactly how much. But I wanted to try this brand and so I ordered them from Amazon. And then the other thing that I've decided to do for my extended pantry is I think it's really important to have some money on hand to save some money for a difficult time. If uh, we had hard times and my husband couldn't work, it would be nice to have a little money on hand to uh, be able to sustain our family and to pay the bills and, and to be able to live. And so I try to have a savings, a little savings in my, uh, with my savings account. Um, but the other thing I think that's really important is to have a little bit of cash on hand. If we were in a situation that we had a power, all the power lines were down and there were no power and you couldn't get money from the ATMs or um, at the grocery stores with your credit debit cards, if you had no cash, we would have problems. And so I've decided to make a start a little uh, cash stash <laughs> how much ever I can afford each week this week I have $20 that I'm putting in my little cash stash 
And so I'll put this in. I, I won't leave it here, but I'll find somewhere for it. I just thought this little treasure box was cute to show you. And I'll just make up a little bit of cash for me to have on hand in my house so that if I needed to go somewhere or spend some money and I couldn't use my debit credit cards or couldn't get money out of my bank account, that I have some cash on hand. And that's how I have done my weekly project pantry for this week. I'm enjoying watching all of yours. You all are amazing and I learn from each of you and I want to thank you for that. And I'll just talk to you again next week.